Hi there guys, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a PHP website within Windows Server 2008 R2 OS. Okay then, so what we have here is a Server 2008 R2 standard 64-bit version of the operating system and what I'm going to show you how to do is um, how to install IIS and configure a PHP website so first thing what we need to do uh, this is obviously a standard install nothing is installed yet as you can see so what we need to do is we need to go to the server toolkit and once that loads we need to go into the roles section and as you can see we've got no roles installed yet so if we go to our roles on the right hand side next and we install web server IIS next next and here we can see what types of services we want to run uh, within IIS so we want to do the static content uh, basically the defaults we need HTTP redirection web dev is good application development health and uh, diagnostics I generally put everything on because then you can get most of the functionality out of the server itself although I do leave FTP server off unless it's ever needed and then I'll go back and install it so if we go next we can see all the services within IIS that we wanted to install and if we install that now it'll just take a second to install okay then so as you can see we've installed IIS and now if we click on close we can see that we've got the roles of IIS under the roles section okay then so if we close the server manager now click on start administrative tools we can see that we've got both IIS 6 and IIS 7 that is so if you click on uh, IIS manager I should load uh, IIS 7 and you can see that under recent connections we've got TechServe which is our local server or local host okay so under sites what we've got is our default website now this is the website that you go to when you type in uh, localhost or you type in TechServe or whatever your server name is we type in localhost we get responded with the IIS welcome page so that's what that page is showing and if we're going to start see uh, my computer and at pub www root now this is where the default website is held so it basically just runs IIS start from the website now what you do is you can either set up your website within the default website or if you want to host multiple websites you can set up bindings which I'm going to show you now. So as you can see we've got the default website here and within here this is a HTML document which is uh, basically what it is capable of running at the minute in IIS. It's also capable of running ASP.NET web pages but if you head over to my forums at www.benstatist.co.uk and head over to the download section there is a file called PHP test file now there is a link in the description uh, below to this file and basically what this file allows you to do is it allows to test to see whether your PHP website uh, is working properly now obviously it won't be yet so if we save this file computer local disk C and net pub ww root and we just call it test.php we can see that, that file has now appeared in there as you'd expect and if we head over to localhost forward slash test.php We 
can see that it comes up with an error. Now this is because it doesn't recognize the extension. The page you are requesting cannot be served because of the extension configuration. Uh, so basically it can't read this PHP file which means that PHP obviously isn't working and that's alright because we haven't set it up yet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install PHP on your website. Okay so if you head over to Microsoft and download the Microsoft Web Platform Installer uh, there's a link in the description to that as well. And at the minute we've got version 4.5. Now this, uh, if you click on free download, is a free app that Microsoft give you. And what this does is it installs various programs for your IIS uh, server. If you click on run, I'll show you just what I mean in just a second. So minimize that. This is what the uh, web platform installer looks like. You've got three tabs, Spotlight, Products, Applications, and under here you can see the different types of applications that you can install. Now what we need to do to get PHP to work is we need to go into the search box and just filter through the things that you can install and install PHP. Now once you search for PHP there's a few different ones that you can add. There's PHP 5.3.19 uh, 5.49 and there's also a PHP manager for IIS. I don't think there's any more. Okay. What you want to do is you want to install the latest version of PHP. Don't go and install the PHP manager for IIS because that requires extra setting up. This one uh, will work straight away for you. So if you click on add next to it, install. We can see that it has um need to, needs to install these applications before it can use PHP itself. So it's going to download 31 meg for me, but depending on your setup it might take longer. I accept and let that install. So once PHP has installed on your server, click on finish, exit, and if we head over to here we can see the web, pla web platform installer is there. So you can run it again if you wish. Now if we head over to the test PHP uh, file that we put on before and refresh the page we can now see that PHP is now working. This is PHP version 5.4.9 which is what we installed and it shows the system Windows NT, TechServe, Windows Server 2008. So that is basically how you set up PHP on a Windows Server 2008 R2 OS. Thanks for watching, please check out my next videos and also go to www.benstechnics.co.uk for help and support.